Every person matters. Every person matters. I'm an adult with a disability. I am opportunity literally under your feet. There are 20 million adults with physical and cognitive disabilities that live among us in this country. You may or may not see me, but I am here and I matter. There is no culture without agriculture. It's easy to forget that the soil is the foundation of it all. Every part of our computers and our smartphones comes from the earth, whether it's the oil from the plastic covers or the minerals and the metals that are created, in, um, that create the motherboard, and also the food that we grow to eat and live. Solutions are in our soil. That's important because we all matter. In this land of opportunity, adults with developmental disabilities face poverty and unemployment in disproportionate numbers. Research released last year showed that people with intellectual disabilities were unemployed at twice the rate of the general population. Only about a third of the estimated 8 million adults with intellectual disabilities were employed. And that only tells part of the story. They are overwhelmingly employed at low-wage, part-time jobs with no benefits, often in segregated settings. People with disabilities want to work. Having a job is the first step in developing a life well-lived. It helps create identity and self-worth. Having a job says, I matter. For most of human history, food was produced within walking distance of where it was consumed. Today, with seven billion mouths to feed, our earth is taking a, a, a tremendous toll with creating and growing food. From the water draws to pollution and energy use to habitat loss. But there is a growing interest in a solution in our soil. Most people around the world are taking a look at urban agriculture, which, which helps make our food accessible, affordable, and local. Jobs matter to people with disabilities. The poverty rate for adults with severe disabilities is 29%, more than double that of individuals without disabilities. Employer misperceptions, practices, are often barriers to employment. And even when a job is secured, the Fair Labor Standards Act allows employers to pay workers with disabilities less than minimum wage. Urban agriculture is proving to be a very important tool in helping people who are underemployed and unemployed transition into livable wage jobs. More than 100 people have been trained as new urban farmers right here in the Atlanta community. However, working at a livable wage is difficult for persons with disabilities that have nothing to do with their ability. Maintaining Medicaid and Social Security benefits requires that a person has no more than $2,000 in assets. This limits earning capacity and perpetuates the cycle of poverty. However, the new ABLE Act, which comes into effect later this year, may offer a way out of this catch-22 and providing New social enterprise and entrepreneurial endeavors are providing hope for individuals with intellectual disabilities who want to work. Urban agriculture as a social enterprise is creating opportunities for people with disabilities and others who can utilize small-scale farming, harvesting, processing, created added value products, sales, customer service, marketing, and more. With the demands for natural and organic food, growing faster than su the supply, the USDA has identified urban agriculture and growing organic food products as the fastest growing sector in agriculture in our country. When we consider ability instead of disability, all people with cognitive and physical disabilities have unique gifts that empower them to accomplish many tasks and be a valuable contribution to the workforce. This is especially true in the innovative field of urban agriculture. Atlanta is ripe for creative partnerships. Atlanta, by virtue of all the land we have available, has more than enough space to grow all the fruits, vegetables, and herbs it needs to feed all of the people. Just recently, the city passed an ordinance to assist in the development of urban agricultural operations. 
This will help us build an infrastructure for development of a vibrant local food system. It also supports other benefits, such as creating an inclusive community that matters. People with disabilities overcome many challenges. Perhaps the most difficult issue they face is loneliness. Many adults with cognitive disabilities have few relationships that exist outside the paid support matrix. When individuals do not have a natural network of supportive family, friends, and coworkers, the gap is filled by a direct care staff, therapist, and social workers. While this may be helpful, it does not create the network of encouragement and support that each of us need to have a life well lived. As artist and advocate Beth Mount observes, loneliness is the only real disability. Adults with disabilities who lack financial independence and social relationships live a life devoid of basic choice and freedoms. From the time they wake up, to the clothes that they wear, the food they put in their mouth, the channel that they put the television on is often made by paid staff or guardian. The benefits of therapies and interventions cannot be sustained in the absence of meaningful relationships. Relationships are a necessary precondition for long-term success. For the person with a disability, holding a job creates the identity and self-worth. It grants a person access to opportunities for independence and expression that has never existed for them in the past. It makes them feel as if they matter. I am an adult with a disability. I am opportunity, literally at your feet. Working the soil, I cultivate health and joy and meaning. I grow opportunity and self-worth. I earn choice and autonomy. I flourish through new friendships with coworkers who till the earth beside me and with customers who enjoy the fruit of my labor. Working with people with disabilities helps our community grow abilities. Urban agriculture is a tool we can use to build an inclusive community that provides jobs and relationships for people with disability. This is very important to us. It's important because we, we all, all matter. matter.